This documentary is broken into three parts and will tell a story all about the Notion team and what they're currently working on. We spent a week with them at the start of April, and here's our story. The productivity software space has always been diverse. There are countless applications that can solve all of your work and life woes, but not one tool to attempt to solve them all. Tools like Evernote, Todoist, Trello have been veterans of the field, our North Stars in the productivity space. And there's even more software coming out that will assist you in lots of different situations in work and life, like habit trackers, time trackers, communication tools, document managers, cloud storage, and so much more. And there's no sign of it slowing down. Like all great spaces, software has to adapt, becoming smarter, more fine-tuned, and ready to meet our growing list of needs. We're also looking for it to automate mundane steps in our packed days, and now a new player in town has rumbled this very field. When I started investing time into learning about the best productivity software out there, I never knew what this space would reveal. Back in 2011, there was regular players and a sense of unification. For me and lots of people, there wasn't really much further to go. Apps and softwares would strive to solve your woes through organized, pre-built experiences. These would help us add information and come back for it later. The space and rules have now been flipped on their head. It is reverting back to an open plan thanks to a desire to customize and design your own dream software. A new entrant has joined the space, one that I've been speaking and talking about for a while now, and you've probably guessed it, right? Notion are based in San Francisco, and they aim to be an all-in-one workspace that you're looking for. The tool itself claims to combine the use of applications like Trello, Evernote, Google Docs, Confluence, and more in one wholesome experience. And this app hasn't disappointed. With over 1 million users since their seed funding, it's on a rocket path to popularity. So our start was early, we woke up at about 3.30am and we headed to our airport to get the correct flights all on time. Now it was my first trip to the US and I was very excited because I've been a fan of the Bay Area for many years, although not even being there. I was traveling with my good buddy Joel. When we first met, it was Trello Day conference back in 2018 and he joined me for this adventure over to the team. Our first stop on the trip was the Notion offices. On day one, we were greeted by the team and got to know them. Now, their offices feel very much like being inside the Notion software. It's really well lit in there, friendly, open, and comes with a sense of artistic minimalism that adapts to each area they have. Light, jazzy music line the background with sofas and relaxing areas to chill out. It had a real ambience to it that I can imagine many people would like to work in. Our first interview started with Ivan, the co-founder of Notion. Behind the Notion is really about software tool making. Um, I'm a programmer. I know how to code since I was fairly young. And I went to college and made friends with a lot of people major in fine arts. And by the time they need to graduate, they need to make their portfolio websites and I'm the only nerd in the circle who, who knows how to do that. We talked to him a little bit about Notion and their startup story and what inspired him to kick things off. And from that moment, I really started thinking, so I, oh, at that time I really, okay, let me build a web page builder so my friends can start building their websites. And, and from working on that web page builder problem longer and longer, you, I realized it's really not about just web pages, it's really about software in general, right? Most people, unless you know how to code, program, you can't really modify the tools you use every day, right? From there, I really want to, like I just got obsessed with the problem, like let's create a meta tool, so let everyone, programmer or non-program, to create their own software. So it gotta be so easy to use and so flexible 
so anybody can customize and create tools that work exactly the way they want their business need. Ivan currently spends much of his time steering Notion in the right direction as a business. So the team are based in the Mission District, an artistic neighborhood with plenty of up-and-coming startups in and around it. The team are a small team at the moment, with 13 or more bright-eyed developers, programmers, designers, and of course, marketing and sales. We grabbed five minutes with some of these chirpy faces within the team, and first up was Lily and David. Sure. Yeah. Cool. I'm Lily. Uh, I'm on community and support. Um... Now, many people recognize Lily's name because she is their support and community manager, along with David, who many will know as the voice of Twitter. Now, these are the chaps behind the support tickets. And at the moment, obviously, Notion is a very new thing, so they're getting a lot of requests. I say like 90% of what we do is talking with users, yeah. um, helping users, uh, you know, updating users on new features. But we also do things like writing guides and keeping those up to date. Um, yeah, tagging and like cataloging user feedback is a big part of our job too, and translating that like user feedback to the engineer. They handle between 400 to 500 support messages a day, which is absolutely crazy. They are very passionate about the service, and Lily is the office dog's owner. A small little fellow called Fig. Now, Fig is blind, and he was absolutely adorable. I remember sending a photo to my sister, and she instantly fell in love with him. Um, and uh, how would you best describe the team culture? I mean, you guys are so like fun to be around. It's, <laughs> it's great. Um, and uh, how would you go about describing that to someone new? Um, I mean, we're a pretty tight knit team. Like when I joined just a few months ago, I think I was higher number ten. Yeah. Um, and we're still pretty small to this day. Mm. Um, I mean, we go on trips together twice a year. We go out to lunch together at least once a week. Um, so it's like a pretty intimate culture. Um, and at the same time, like if you walk around the office at 3 p.m., like we're all pretty quiet. We all have our headphones on. <laughs> yeah. We're all kind of dialed in and very yeah. focused. But yeah. um, you walk around the office at lunchtime and we're all chatting about, you know, various nerdy things. Yeah. We all have kind of similar interests in uh, art and culture and just kind yeah. of thought provoking questions. Now, of course, the team have been working mainly on Notion, but Akshay, the COO of Notion, previously worked at LinkedIn and brings a lot of experience to the role. From his vast experience, he understands Notion is heading into the future of productivity. Um, I'm Akshay Kothari, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer um, at Notion. It's a very small company right now, so that role right now means basically taking care of all the operations side that falls outside of product. Well, so I think primarily I, I've known Ivan and Simon for a really long time. Uh, I was lucky when I sold uh, Pulse to LinkedIn back in 2013. Uh, I, Notion was actually my first investment. Uh, I was just starting to invest in startups and Notion ended up being the first company I invested in. Uh, invested primarily because of uh, you know Ivan's vision of uh, democratizing tool making in mm. the world. Yeah. Uh, the simple idea where you don't, you and I don't need to know how to code to build the next generation software or mm. the next generation tool. So from taking your socks off at the entrance to the relaxed lunches, the Notion team all seem passionate about the product and use it in their day to day life. Yeah, I actually have a bunch of different workspaces for different people that I work with or kind of interact with. I think the coolest one that I have is uh, I actually live with my uh, wife and her daughter and my younger brother and his wife. So it's five of us in our, at our home here in San Francisco. And we have a workspace where we track literally everything uh, at home. Yeah. Uh, down to like who's cooking, who's cleaning, who's uh, doing groceries, uh, you know, what are the house rules, uh, when are people traveling. We have a house calendar where we just put oh, stuff cool. like who's coming yeah. over, who's, and it's actually like made our lives so much more organized. Yeah. Um, oh, I can imagine. And I kind of have to like, I have to force everyone in the home to use Notion <laughs> for that use case. Yeah. And but now that everybody's using it, everybody feels like it's it's this thing that's so useful. Yeah. And one of the many reasons people are falling in love with Notion is the focus on design and product. And at the moment, the experience of using Notion is calm, liberating, and totally flexible. 
Now Chet, one of the programmers at Notion, very much strives to deliver the best inside for Notion users. Sort of do something outside of FinTech, something kind of more creative mm. feeling. And uh, so I quit and took a few months off. Yeah. Well, the goal is to take a few months off. Yeah. <laughs> and I was um, getting really into explorable explanations. Yeah. Um, watching all these Brett Victor videos and stuff. And mm. I was building this markdown editor for building explorables. Okay. Um, and I showed it to a friend who introduced me to another friend who told me about Notion. Mm. Um, and then. So yeah, so I just emailed Ivan actually, yeah. and later that day I met up with them, got coffee, um, and yeah, I mean basically Notion was kind of a much more polished version of what I was trying to build. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I mean I, I, I met up with Ivan and Simon, they were both like really into all the same things that I was into. Yeah. Um, they had all the same ideas, all the right ideas. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of like a perfect opportunity for kind of my side project yeah. to meet with my job. That's good. So it was really nice, yeah. Notion hasn't just caught the attention of day-to-day -day users. It has impressed teams around the world, a few that we got to visit. 